Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan Kohler and I will be today's presenter. Today we will talk about the new Certified SOLIDWORKS Simulation Associate FEA exam and our Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate exam provider program. Let's begin. For today's agenda, we will go over the format, competencies, and prerequisites of the new Certified SOLIDWORKS Simulation Associate FEA exam. After that, we will talk about the CSWA Provider Program, what is required for the program, how to apply, and other certified exams offered to CSWA providers. We make it easy for the instructor. The exam is delivered in the same method as the CSWA provider program. The exam is automatically graded. The grades are provided to the instructor and directly to the student. Students must know the theory as well as the hands-on for this exam. Also, you cannot do this exam with only SOLIDWORKS Simulation Express. You need SOLIDWORKS Simulation. This exam is built around SOLIDWORKS, but focused on FEA theory. Outside of SOLIDWORKS, you must have a decent understanding of engineering mechanics, statics, finite element method, and analysis theory, as well as strength of materials. You do not need to be a pro in all of these subjects, but you must understand the basics of each. You must understand basic SOLIDWORKS competencies such as applying materials, local and global coordinate systems, how to work with multi-body parts, and how to work with solid and sheet metal models. Inside of SOLIDWORKS simulation, you must understand how to create a static study, define solid, shell, and beam elements, define standard and advanced fixtures, and external loads, how to create different mesh types, quality, and parameters for parts and assemblies, understand what the simulation results mean, and how to, how to utilize SOLIDWORKS simulation help. Finally, you must also understand how to use other simulation options such as contact sets and contact types, how to switch between SI and English units, how to use different solvers, and how to set up and modify different result plots. For prerequisites, you must be CSWA certified to take this exam. We also highly suggest that you go through the SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorials, the applied, validation, and NAFIMS tutorials for static analysis. Understanding how to use SOLIDWORKS simulation is important, but understanding the theory behind each problem is what will help you pass this exam. Next, let's revisit the CSWA provider program. We will take a look at the program's requirements, how to apply, and other certification exams offered to CSWA providers. The CSWA provider program requires the school to be under subscription service. For the CSWA, you must be at a classroom pack or campus pack level. The institution must agree to give the exam in a proctored environment. Applying to be a CSWA provider is very simple. Go to www.solidworks.com forward slash CSWA. Click the link that says CSWA Provider Application on the right hand side of the page. This will open the provider application. From here you will need to fill in all the required sections before submitting the application. Once you become a CSWA provider and meet the minimum license requirements, you can also offer three other exams. To offer the Certified Sustainable Design Associate, you must have a classroom pack. 
to offer the Certified SOLIDWORKS Simulation Associate FEA exam and the Certified SOLIDWORKS Professional exam, you must have a Campus Pack. We strongly encourage all students to have student engineering kits on their own computers to prepare for these exams. They need time with SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS simulation to be successful in passing these exams. Minimum license requirements vary from territory to territory, so be certain to consult with your territory business manager with questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.